Good morning, my noble knights. It is I, Blaze Templar, and today we are coming out with our week uh, six of the DBL, and that's Delta Battle League, of course. And I'm going to move the screen just a smidgen so you can see things a little bit better. You know, just make things a little nicer for everybody. Because last week had a little bit of the edges cut off, and hopefully we won't have that now. So, anyway, as you can see, uh, we are actually going up against the New York Metagrosses and have a very offensively based team with uh, Sylveon. That can actually be defensive or specially offensive, that kind of thing. Um, Skarmory, which is obviously defensive for the most part, but it can run Brave Bird and things like that. I actually get Swords Dance, interestingly enough, and with uh, the... Uh, it's hidden ability it can actually gain speed for uh, defense dropping. I can't remember what that's called at the moment. I'm tired. I actually ran that set once in Gen 5, and it was surprisingly gimmicky but effective. Um, next, Hydreigon, very offensive powerhouse. Um, that 98 speed is actually pretty threatening, as I don't really have anything to outspeed it. Um, and if it's Scarfed, yeah, I'm not outspeeding it. Um, Vaporeon, very nice Pokemon, has good special attack and good special defense. Uh, so if he brings like Sylveon and the Vaporeon, my guess is the Vaporeon's gonna be the defensive special wall, while Sylveon's like specs maybe and going for the hyper voice pixelated. Um, Alone Marowak, very powerful offensively. Fire Ghost is a great typing, and with Lightning Rod, it gets a lot of unique switches. Plus, with the Thick Club doubling that attack stat, very, very impressive, very threatening, and very powerful. Uh, Serena, it's it's an interesting grass type with good uh, speed and attack, um, but the high jump kick is really the thing I'm worried about the most on that thing. Doug Trio, um, when I first saw him, I just kind of went, oh no, Arena Trap, I know exactly what this thing does. It's a pain in the neck, and it's a big threat. My team really doesn't have a ideal Pokemon for it, um, but I do have some solutions to it, and uh, Breloom is one of them. So, yeah. Swellow, of course, does make the trio a lot more threatening as I can't just go, well, I'll bring uh, Breloom and I'll be 100% safe from this guy's team, because obviously that's not the case. Um, between it and Hydreigon um, in particular, as well as even the Marowak, um, I have to be cautious. Um, Hitmonlee has, like, the fake out, unburden high jump kick set, very threatening, very fast, very powerful. It also gets rapid spin. Pretty nice to have on a Pokemon, and one as quick as Hitmonlee, useful. Mesperit, uh, it's also got the Z move. I don't know what he's going to want to do with it, but my guess is he's going to want to pull off some like Z Memento or Z something like that. So it could be interesting, could be a pain in the neck. Um, but last, with the Mesperit, um, it does have pretty good stats overall, and it is pretty quick. Um, it's not the my favorite of the like trio, but it's pretty high up there. It's a good Pokemon. Um, actually, it might be my favorite. Uh, Oxy, Mesprit, and uh, Azelf. Actually, Azelf. Yeah, Azelf's the one I like the most, but Mesprit's not bad at all. Um, and then last but not least is the Rotom Frost. It's electric ice typing. is pretty interesting, and it's pretty hard to like burn or similar, so, you know, um... He's got a very threatening team, um, and I'm not particularly fond to see what he's got. My team just doesn't handle it too well. That is the problem. So, I mean, I have some options for some of his Pokemon. Like a Sylveon, I can get around uh, with, like, Volcanion or Toxic Toxicroak. I can get around Sylveon. That's not too bad. Uh, Skarmory, again, Volcanion de deals well with that. Um, if I lose Volcanion too early and Skarmory still around, that actually could be a very big problem. But Sword Sands on Drapion and Lock Off plus Rock Slide uh, should be able to take it out over time. Um, I'm not weak to his Flying Stab if he runs anything like that, like Brave Bird. And I don't mind Steel Wing with my team too much, so Skarmory is not too much of a threat. I don't really want him setting up all those hazards because then I have to bring in Claydol and spin them away. And I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of safe opportunities to do that with just how offensively built his team is. And even his defensive walls really do threaten my clay doll. Um, so that is a thing. And yeah, uh, looking at that fact, I do think, in fact, uh, the... Um, 
Blastoise would do a better job here. It does basically the same thing Claydol does, except it doesn't have all the weaknesses. So in this week, as much as I love Claydol, I think Blastoise just does the job better. And we'll keep Torrent, Rapid, Spin, Scald, doesn't get stealth rock that's why I was running yes that's why um, because I wanted a rocker it does help my team quite a bit so that is why I decided to run it regardless of that fact but honestly I might be better off just because of how offensively built his team is and he doesn't really have anything besides the Alolan Marowak that that hits for super effective damage anyway so I think Blastoise really is my best play here Toxic, uh, Rapid Spin, and let's see, uh, actually, Rain Dance could help my team quite a bit, um, as it does give me a water boost. So, yeah. It actually doesn't hurt my team um, too much. And his team does have a water type on it with that, so dry skin is pretty tempting still. Um, so you can see, I'm not 100% satisfied with my team, but I'm working on it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the actual battle shortly, so later.